Hey everybody and welcome to another video about the Black Cat Autofocuser um, for the Red Cat system and it uses the ZW EAF. In my first video I showed how to install it and I had some questions that came up about why I set it the way I did, what settings I use in the computer. And I'm going to pronounce this incorrectly so I'll just spell it out D-I-V-Y-E. Um, so they asked about um, how to set this up. So in terms of the camera itself, um, it has a semicircle. you can sort of see here where the top has the grooves and then the bottom there's no grooves. And the reason for that is because when you actually set it, and it does say this on the PDF installation, you set it to about where you're going to have infinity focus on your telescope initially and you can do this by just simply doing a rough focus on stars and you'll know because there's a, a little number indicator here right there. and. From there, you've basically set so the semicircle on the top has room to move in both directions because it doesn't actually have to travel that far in order to go from one end of the extreme to the other for focusing at infinity. It doesn't have to actually move that far to go from one end to the other to the color spectrum and also cut accounting for temperature shifts. So having it sent there, you can move it back and forth and you end up having it in the computer. It has a set position already coming from this device. Okay, so this is how I have it set up here in ASI Air Imaging. Obviously, if I had a camera connected, it would show a camera, but for right now, we're just looking at the uh, Red Cat autofocuser, which is basically the ZWO EAF in housing. So as you can sort of see here, you can go to different positions. You can go to set stuff. Um, you can do fine movements like this. And as I'm doing this, you can sort of see it rotating. Interested in seeing what one one step does. Basically, it's barely noticeable. This is 2,500 steps. So this is quite a bit of movement. I've been playing around with it for a bit, but I've generally set to 550. I think that's a generally good number to go with. If I find I need to make it more fine focused steps, I can do that. But overall, I'm not too worried about running this and making these adjustments on the fly since you can just do that in the computer. As I would move towards more and more automation, I would come up with a better number, but I generally focus everything and do everything manual um, because at this point I haven't gone through and done a lot of like automation software because my mount is manual, so I have to be out there looking after it anyway. I'd also like to take a moment to thank Steve from Ontario Telescope as he's the one who sent kind enough to send me the Black Cat and the ZW EAF to try out on the Red Cat to see if I like over the other option I was using before. And overall, I'm really enjoying this. Definitely it's something to consider if you're gonna jump into the ASI Air uh, eco space because you can connect the ASI Air Pro Plus and whatever else right here. And then you also have room right here for any other additional equipment that you wanna mount or if you happen to have the version of the Red Cat that has that like Red Cat extra top foot, it will fit right here as well on top. So amazing little product that's 3D printed. Um, I'm absolutely flabbergasted at the quality that it's printed. I, overall, a solid product for people who are looking to automate their imaging trains. So I hope you found this video useful. Please give me a like. Um, if you have any other questions, please let me know. I'm happy to try to give them an answer and I will have links below in the description for the Black Cat and the Red Cat.